is there going to be price resistance at a certain point, or do you have to continue to raise prices just to be able to meet the raw costs, which I know are not your fault? They keep going up. Yeah, I, I think, Jim, that, that has been the case, and I think we've demonstrated in Q4 and in Q1, as we said we would, an ability to get price and mix ahead of not only raw materials, but darn near covering transportation, energy, and labor. And those costs continue to move up. And as evidenced by, uh, in the U.S., uh, an announced price increase on June 1, uh, uh, we do have to go out there and make sure we can recover those increasing costs. Having said that, Jim, like every product, as you know, and listen, I've been through about five cycles of these already, there's always a point that, uh, that, that diminished demand comes into play. But I would also tell you, you know, there's a few things different this time. Uh, clearly, you know, replacement demand may go down. We're better positioned with Cooper to deal with any uh, movements of volume from pe premium down to value brands. That's number one. And number two, and you know this, unlike uh, uh, times in the past, really the OE demand, the OE production hasn't come back yet because right. it ships. So we see, even in a down environment, that OE demand is going to continue to increase as they, too, have to rebuild some inventory. So that, that may give us uh, uh, you know, some cushion should, should we hit that recession that everyone's talking about. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.